Hello and welcome to my latest video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can embed your live stream directly into your website. So my name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital enabler and tech coach and I help you to understand the tools at your fingertips to help you raise your visibility and make a bigger impact on your clients. So today's video is around live streaming and using the software Restream.io to actually embed that live stream into your website. Now you may be asking why you would want to do this. Well, many of us are going live frequently on our social platforms, but actually that requires you to have an audience that is based on your social platforms. However, if you were to embed your live stream onto your website, you can attract a completely different audience to your online hub the resource where you put all of your online information. Now I have a video blog on my website as well as a written blog and I do have live episodes on my YouTube channel. And I go live frequently on my Facebook business page and my YouTube channel. But I don't actually usually embed those lives onto my website. I normally go live through Restream onto the social channels of my choice. But now Restream have introduced the ability to actually embed your live stream onto your website. So in this video, I'm going to actually show you how to grab the code from within the Restream software and place that into your WordPress website. Now I use Divi, which is a elegant themes theme, and it enables you to build your WordPress website using a drag and drop builder. So for the purpose of this particular training, we'll be using the Divi code widget inside of your WordPress website, but you can actually embed this code into any code area or if you don't have a drag and drop website, you could use the editor area within your text module. So the easiest way for me to really explain to you and show you how to do this is to dive right into my website for you. So here we are on my WordPress website. My website is anitawong.co.uk and I have a live stream page. So basically whenever I go live on my YouTube and my Facebook page, I have all of those videos, the past episodes on here where you can watch them, you can read the content and you can refer back to them. And these have been embedded from my YouTube channel onto my website. It helps raise more visibility around those videos. However, what I've also done is to embed my Restream live studio onto my website so that people can actually watch my live stream in real time. So I can actually direct my audience and my followers to this page on my website so that when they watch this video, they'll watch it in real time. And then they'll also be on a place on my website where they can go and look at how I can help them. They can look at my free communities and they can also look at my courses and my free downloads. So the first stage you would need to do is to log into your website, like I have here, and go to the page in question. Now for Divi, all that's needed to do is to enable your visual builder. So you go ahead and click your visual builder. This is going to open up the admin area of your website. And then you need to go to the area where you would like to embed the widget. So here I have my live stream. So if I were to put this underneath, what I would do is I would create a new section. So go ahead and create your new section by clicking the plus. And we're going to have our regular section. Then you're going to have to decide what you would like your rows to look like. On mine, I've put my Restream Embedded Studio into the center. So you can scroll down and grab one of these like so. Then it's going to ask you which module you want to use. So we're going to use the code module for this purpose. So go down and write code. And we're going to open up that code widget. Now we need to put the code from our Restream software into here. So to find that, what we need to do is go to Restream. So it's Restream.io. If you haven't already got a account with Restream, you can sign up for free and I will put the link for you underneath this video. Once inside the Restream software, you just need to go to these three little dots on the left inside the menu. Go down to settings 
And in the settings area, we have what's known as a widget. So you're going to click on the widget and here it allows you to add a restream widget onto your website and give the ability to choose platforms to your audience. So we're going to go for the medium. So it's 640 by 396. That's quite a nice size for people to watch your videos. Now, as you can see, when your stream is offline, it will be a blank box like so. And the channels that will be shown are the channels that you've activated inside your destinations. All that's left to do is to grab this piece of code and go back to your website and place that code into the box. Click OK and then drag this widget into the centre. By placing the widget in the centre, it's going to allow you to see that you've got it in the centre here. If we change the configuration a little bit, it's going to bring it into the centre, which is much better. So now we have our live stream window ready for when we live stream inside our restream.io editor. So all that's left to do now is to click the buttons at the bottom and save the area that you've just updated. Exit the visual builder. And this is going to show you that there we are, we've just popped our live stream into here. In order for you to control what's shown on this live stream window, you do need to go back into your Restream account and go over to where it says Destinations. When you click on the Destinations tab, as you can see, I have my Facebook challenge group open. If I were to untick that and tick my Facebook business page and my YouTube channel, and go back to my live studio inside my website and refresh my page, you can see that now the YouTube icon and the Facebook business page icon have been highlighted. And it's saying to follow these channels to get notified when you go live. So that's all you have to do to embed your live stream onto your website. So the next time you go live, not only will you be live streaming to your Facebook business page, your YouTube account, perhaps your Twitter account, or even LinkedIn, you will also be taking that stream onto your website for your website visitors to see your live stream as well. If you have any questions whatsoever about this video and embedding the live stream window onto your website, don't hesitate to pop your questions in the comments below this video. If you've enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos around this subject, live streaming and WordPress, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell if you would like notification of the next time I go live on my social channels.